Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. The link to my blog is below and it will be, you know, throughout this video in different parts. But today I am back with a new reflecting video and I started doing these, I think, three or four months ago and I really enjoy them. What it is, is I basically go over, you know, some things of this current month with you guys that happened or, you know, um, different things going on. And then I take you back sometimes all the way to 2010 with blog posts and videos. Maybe you've seen some, maybe you haven't. Um, and then I kind of tell you what is coming up. So this past month, for the month of September, it's been a little bit challenging in terms of Jackson. Jackson is just one of these kids who really could just do without school. He has never, ever enjoyed it. He would rather be home. And, you know, while many of you might say homeschooling, I'm not really going to do that. I'm not comfortable with that. I would rather him be out and get socialized and be taught by people who, um, have really been educated for that and I don't remember everything and I would have to kind of learn with him again if I was trying to do some type of homeschooling. So his progress report wasn't too good and he lost his Xbox and all of his video games and he does have his TV but if his report card has any bad grades on it he will lose that as well. And so that's brought in a little bit of problems, issues. He's not happy being grounded and um, I'm not happy with the grades. And we have, you know, talked with teachers and we have worked on homework together with him. But a lot of it's on the iPad and I was explaining in, I think it was my last day in the life vlog. I'll put a card up to whichever one it was. I was explaining that the iPads in school are just not a good idea for so many reasons, and at least in our house, but copy and paste is one of the big ones. And I was like looking over his homework, and I could just tell they weren't his answers, and they're not 11 year old answers, or <clears throat> 12, I'm sorry, soon to be 13. I get all the kids mixed up. And I asked him where he got it, and he said Google. And then he told me this particular teacher said it's fine to copy and paste. Um, I really don't want to get on teachers, but wow, that one didn't make me too happy, and I have yet to talk to her about it, but I'm going to. We also had my sister's birthday, and I got my card out late, and I apologize, Lacey, it will be on its way. It actually, Scott was supposed to take it, and he put it in the glove box, and he's busy, and so it just kind of slipped his mind, but we had her birthday. She had a wonderful birthday, and um, I will link her Instagram below, just in case you want to follow her. She puts up some amazing pictures. She also sells that origami owl, and I shared that in the last reflecting video, I believe. I believe I did. Um, also, for the month of September, in terms of YouTube, um, and a little bit on Facebook, I have um, felt like I've had to defend myself. And I'm so tired of uh, people believing everything they read and people assuming like I've got like 20 identities that leave comments neg negatively about them. And I thought about doing a whole video posting exactly who I think who has said this and who has implied this more or less. And then... Um, I haven't yet, and I'm still thinking about it, but, you know, that is something hard because when YouTubers actually think something, you know, or get catty, it's just so silly to me. I think we're all here to lift each other up. First and foremost, I have never talked badly about another YouTuber or blogger my entire time up here. I might have, well, I did do a blog post about somebody who was complaining, and that pretty much is the same somebody I'm talking about. And I was, I was, I don't want to say bombarded, but I was, I was the center of attack, maybe, um, regarding this because of some lies on the internet. And this other particular YouTuber thinks that you know, I've made up 50 different identities, and I'm bothering her, and it's so far from the truth, and it really bothered me, and I felt like I had to defend myself, and I finally just got out of it. Um, people are going to believe what they want to believe, and 
I really think that, you know, YouTube is such a wonderful place. It's a wonderful community. And you guys are the reasons um, I feel like it's a wonderful community because you've helped me. You've encouraged me. And I just, I got lost in the fight, I guess you will. It's like, you know, there's only so much you can do. And um, I try my best to be kind. Sometimes I'm a little snarky with my husband or you know, a little argumentative maybe with my mom, but I do my best to be kind and loving. Um, have I given a thumbs down on a video? Yes, I have. Um, is it something I do often? No, but if it's something I really just don't care for, there's been times I've left a thumbs down. It's rare, but I have. And, um, you know, when you feel like you have to defend yourself, it, it puts you in a hard place because you can turn the other cheek and I'm, you know, I know that's what God wants us to do, but I also don't think you should be walked on or used as a doormat and not stick up for yourself. And even though people have got things wrong or this particular person is completely wrong, it's nothing that is in my control. I cannot get inside of somebody else's head. I cannot do anything. I wish the whole one of these personalities of mine would start cleaning my house. That's what I wish. I am busy with everyday life, you guys. And that brings me on to the next subject. But I'm really busy and I, I don't feel like I have time to argue. And I don't feel like I have time to... Um, sit around and hate on other people and I wouldn't do that anyway but I don't have time to do all that I feel like my days are really full right now and um, that is because I have finally made the decision to try to get healthier just do my best to to cut down on the sugar not cut out to cut down on the bread but not cut out but I did cut out all soft drinks and right now Monday 6, I believe, and I haven't even craved them. Um, it's hard. It, well, I thought it was going to be hard because um, I love Mountain Dew. I mean, I loved it. Something about the green dye or the yellow dye and the high fructose syrup and caffeine mixed together made like a sugar crack for my body. I absolutely have loved Mountain Dew the past 10 years. It was hard. I had to lie to my dentist about how much I was drinking it, which they could clearly see in my mouth. Um, I definitely gained weight from it. I'm sure of it. I drank seven to eight cans a day. And I'll talk more about this in a new fitness and health update. But I just made up my mind. I was feeling pretty bad. I went to the doctor. I had some blood tests drawn. And I, you know, I'm working in that direction. I'm also working with a person... Um, a masseuse who is trying to work out some of the kinks. Scott and I are going back in just a week or two. Um, we're trying to get one, um, one or two sessions in a month, and I'm starting acupuncture. But all those combined would not do anything for me if I didn't put some exercise into my system or into my routine. And, you know, my daughter is very athletic. And she is nothing like me, and I never had gym. I was lucky we had a friend that was a doctor, and I got notes all the time. And I didn't have to participate, and I was just, I'm just not an athletic person. But I had made up my mind that, number one, I want to lose some weight. Number two, I wanted to give up sodas. Number three, I really wanted to get in some exercise and there's some other numbers in there I'll talk about later but what I started doing was using my Fitbit now you know I, I had this I didn't really want to start using it but I decided you know what it maybe it will hold me accountable and that's exactly what it's done and I have been walking five plus miles a day except for day one when I put this on like late in the afternoon I didn't get like my five miles in but I've gotten five plus miles in seven almost eight some days so far um, and I'm just really thankful for it and I feel like the competitions within Fitbit are fun and I feel like it's definitely motivated me and I've gotten in a lot of steps I leave this on all the time except when I'm in the shower and I charge it just during shower time I sleep in it and it monitors my sleep and it's amazing because I think I'm getting enough sleep clearly I'm not when I'm looking at the sleep tracker and that's some things that had been going on for this month so 
you know, um, I'm just, I'm doing my best to get healthier. And by the way, I have water right here. This is such a fun tumbler. Can you see it? It's got like a cat looking at the fish. There's the cat, the back of it. And then there's the front of the fish. And it's kind of hard to see. I know it is, but it's so cute. And today it's just plain water. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite thing to drink, but I am drinking it. And having cute tumblers is just just makes it more fun. I love this tumbler I got a few years back. I think at t -Vonnet. It is the one vessel, so you can check it out if you're interested. So let's rewind and go all the way back to 2011. In 2011, we took a cruise. I know a lot of people thought we were bored on this past cruise. We were a little bit. We had been on so many, and it was just kind of the same thing. But in 2011, we took one, and we ended up in Louisiana for uh, a few nights, if I'm not mistaken. There was some bad weather, and we couldn't leave. And I have videos. There's not that many, but I will share those in the links below, just in case you want to check those out. And most of the um, videos I share does read direct you to my blog. Well, you'll see the blog post and the video. So that's why I most of the time direct you right over to my blog for this, for whatever particular video or obviously blog post that I am talking to you about. Um, and so it was a fun time. We had um, a big party again. We had me and Scott, my sister and her boyfriend and Don, my mom's boyfriend and my mom and Don's children. I don't know if I'm forgetting anybody, but if I am, sorry, but we had such a good time. And also in October of 2011, our oldest daughter got married and we enjoyed a beautiful weekend in Gatlinburg for her like destination wedding. She, it was beautiful. It was a little bit cold that day, but um, yeah, it was October 22nd, I believe, and it was just a beautiful day. I have video and blog posts, and I will definitely put those in, and you can see the pictures, what I'm talking about, and um, also the links will be below. So, moving on, there's not a ton in 2011 that I'm just sharing. I kind of pick things that are similar to this time um, stage and this time of the year and these months. And in 2012, I posted a video and blog post for an easy Italian grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. It is easy to make and it is just, you know, one of those meals you can serve with a simple salad and your family will love it. So if you haven't checked it out yet, you definitely should. It's a little bit more hearty. Um, it's breaded and, uh, well, a grilled cheese has bread, but the bread is breaded. And, um... You have marinara sauce over. It's just a really good. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to have to put it on our menu soon. I have been watching what I've been eating. And again, that'll go in the fitness. But I have still been eating some carbs and a little bit of sugar. And also in 2012, I have some pumpkin carving um, blog posts that were so fun. You can see our process in that video or in that blog post and video. Um, I'm sorry, I thought I turned that down, but let's do it now. And, um, you know, it's the time of the year where we're all going to pumpkin patches and we're about to start carving pumpkins. You might want to see because we've done some pretty cool pumpkins, um, you know, putting the pattern up and cutting out in the particular places. We've had a lot of fun with that. Also, in 2012, I did a couple of videos on my day timer. It was so important to me. I had a piece of jewelry and I still have it on that planner um, that my brother, who's now gone, um, gave me. And it's a great video showing you how I organized a day timer before. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to. And then um, also in 2012, I shared a delicious recipe for a step-by-step -step apple crumble. And that apple crumble is a Amish recipe. It is so good, you guys. We're also in apple season. So you could totally go to your farmer's market and pick up a bunch of apples. If you have a tree outside, go pick them and make a delicious fall dessert. And speaking of fall desserts, in 2013, let's move on into, I don't want this video to be too long, but in 2013, I also did a um, fall pear and raspberry tart. It was off the chain delicious. It's easy to make 
It's got, you know, beautiful fall produce and ingredients, and it's just one of my favorite fall desserts, and I want you guys to remember that in case you have some type of fall gathering, Thanksgiving, same with the apple crumble, or if you just, you know, have a big Sunday dinner with your family and maybe your friends, you could definitely make one of these to serve up. They are easy and delicious. Um, both the apple crumble and fall tart is um, on my blog, and all those links will be below. I do believe both are videos as well. Also, in 2013, I showed you my portable office, and I pretty much still use one of these. Maybe I'll do an updated video, but it's pretty similar. And, um, you know, we live in a big house, and the bedrooms are on the second floor, mm -hmm. as well as two bathrooms, a laundry room, and my desk is up here. This is my, this is the master bedroom where I sleep, and my desk is right here, and I've shared that in a desk video. I will link that in an information card just in case you want to see that but and I can only share so many of those cards that's why I don't do all of these in cards but um I work upstairs and downstairs and you know a lot of times I do like the solitary room here and my desk but a lot of times also I need to be in like the hub of the house on the first floor in the kitchen in the living room and so I have a portable like little office that I take up and down the steps with me pretty much every single day. Also in 2013 I did a review for the Mrs. Myers Geranium Dish Soap. It's kind of in-depth for a dish soap review and I explain why it is always a favorite of mine. I love that dish soap and I actually have been using a lot of the Mrs. Myers candles and they're ten dollars a piece at my local store unless I find them on sale. This one has is the um this is the lemon one I believe. The no the lavender I'm sorry. This is the lavender and it's got 35 hours of burn time with this um candle and I love them. You don't need a ton. They like you know go through the rooms and you can just Smell the beauty in those candles. They are so good. And that's probably why I am so happy with the Mrs. Myers brand. Their products are all natural. They smell amazing. And I just truly love them. So check out that review if you um, haven't checked it out yet and you're interested in some of the Mrs. Myers Clean Day products. Um, also, um, in 2013, I also shared a video on how to stay motivated and get things done. And I do have some notes down here because this is a lot to remember if you see me glancing down or hear the paper. Um, you know, for a lot of us, it's hard to get back into the swing of things after we get off schedule for whatever reason. And my schedule is kind of different now. I'm putting in working out and that's kind of taking up more time and so I've had to rearrange it but if you've gotten into a slump and it's hard to figure out how to get motivation back and how to get back on schedule definitely check out the video on how to get motivated to get more done and I think maybe you'll find some good tips in that video to to get you up and moving again. In 2014 um, around this time last year it was a difficult time um scott and i wasn't really getting along at our best we still love each other we're still happily married but it was a definitely a difficult phase and i point that out not to bring scott and i you know our problems out here to the world to you but to tell you that all marriages have struggles and you have to endure and you have to get through the hard times and i did a video welcome to my life and i was really upset and I was struggling, and I pretty much thought, you know, I just want to run away. And um, I talked to you guys, and I have to admit, your comments really pulled me through and helped me. So if you haven't checked out that video, you're more than welcome to. It's a harder type of time in my life. I was definitely upset, um, but the comments are truly amazing and if you watch it you should definitely check them out there's a lot of wonderful comments that don't just apply like to me they could always apply to you as well I also shared a recipe in 2014 for my crock bot crock bot crock pot uh, Miss Salisbury steaks and it's a delicious recipe if you're busy in the fall you know it is a little bit more hearty kind of like the um um, like the apple crumble, I'm having trouble, I'm tongue twisted, the apple crumble or the fall pear tart, just one minute, 
Um, my throat gets a little frog in every once in a while. It's a great recipe, and it's easy to make, and I think your families would love it. Also, in 2014, around this time last year, I shared a very quick fall tour. And the truth is, I could maybe go film another fall tour around here, but I still have most of the same stuff that I that I had then. I usually buy one or two new things a year. I don't know if that really really is worth making a video over but I did share a fun quick fall tour and that's pretty much how the house will be decorated this year if I notice any big differences I will be sure to do another one I don't have any on the radar right now for any home tours I don't mind but it's just mostly the same decoration so if you want to see how we decorate for fall go ahead and check out that video again the link is below and I also did a fall tag last year so I'm debating maybe Maybe doing one again and seeing after I do it if my answers are the same or if they're a little bit different. It's kind of fun looking, you know, different years that way. And I did a Bokes flower review also in that video. So you can skip through the review and give away because that is over. But you could definitely check out my answers to the fall tag. And if you want to go ahead and do the fall tag, I would love to see it if you're a YouTuber. I love, you know, watching a lot of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, for subscribing and if you do have a fall tour link it below and um, I would definitely come check it out so on my blog in 2010 we went to Coco Key and we took the little kids it was so fun I believe it was in Ohio I, I don't remember exactly but um, it was a wonderful time I know we did it in 2010 and it's a great resort so if you're looking for somewhere to take your kids maybe in the fall or winter time Definitely check out Coco Key because um, it's mostly indoor and kids can have a wonderful time there. It's all geared towards the kids. It's really something. And I think my husband, my ex-husband, um, did, no, that was the Great Wolf Lodge. He did Chris, New Year's, Christmas and New Year's with Brittany and Jackson one year at the Great Wolf Lodge. I'm not going to link that one in because I don't really remember. But it's another great place to go um, have fun in the fall and winter with your young kids. Also, in 2010, I did a blog post um, sharing my beauty tips for eyeshadows matching your eye color and for some reason that blog post took right off so you know maybe it's something you're interested in if you want to see if you want to bring out your eye color that blog post will kind of help you tell you what you know colors that will probably work best for you a married life I a married life post I did on my blog back in um, 2010 was how to strengthen your marriage through random acts of kindness and it was more around Thanksgiving um, it might need to be included in next month's video but you know you can always strengthen your relationships by doing nice kind random acts for them you can get up and make a breakfast you can lay something out a little note you can there's so many things you can buy an unexpected gift you can write an unexpected love letter and I did a big blog post on that and if you know you feel like your marriage is maybe stale or you need to you know spice it up a little bit try the random acts of kindness I promise it will bring out more happiness through your relationship with your partner so another thing I um, posted about was five one of I guess my top five things to look for in a spouse and I find that that's important I find that you know marriage is hard it's not just marriage it's relationships there's plenty of people that are ma are not married who go through many of the same struggles as married people do and I I put out my five top things what to look for in them and a spouse could definitely be a partner it's just my five but it might interest you especially if you're single and um, you know maybe maybe you can change your goals or change your expectations and um, I'm not saying lower them by the way I'm just saying maybe you should change them if you're you know looking for love I mean I know it's not easy I can't imagine being in the dating world but I do think a lot of our standards are low and I think um, I think it's hard sometimes to find that right partner that's why we lead to divorce um, a lot of times when we don't really set our standards for what we really want so just remember that before just you know getting the big wedding dress and having the big wedding there's so much more to it than that 
um, in 2011, um, I was really focused on beauty products on my blog. I was doing a ton of hauls. I'm just going to link in below the the tag where you can click on the link and it will take you to like all the beauty posts and you can keep hitting older posts and check out you know different ones from the past but I really focused on beauty products I was doing a lot of hauls and reviews and I've had reviews for so many different products and you know it's fun trying new makeup products and it's fun reviewing them and you know I love reading reviews myself especially if it's a big purchase I want to be an informed shopper I want to make sure it's something I want before I spend the money on it so it means a lot to me that many of you guys have checked out a ton of my reviews and either bought something or or maybe not or whatever so I I'm very happy for that I also did another married life post around this time in 2000 um, 11 on my blog for a marriage prayer and um, I think it's very important you pray in your marriage you pray for your marriage and the marriage prayer is is really good so definitely check that out in 2012 on my blog I did a video recipe for some chicken spaghetti it's delicious you guys um, it's very hearty it's perfect for this time of year it's easy to make and um, you know sometimes it's good switching things up from like a beef spaghetti or a spaghetti and meatballs to a chicken spaghetti it doesn't hurt it's a little bit healthier and it it's different for your family and sometimes you know even I and I went to cooking school which a lot of people hate me for because I don't cook like a chef and I'm not going to you guys um, I mean, I loved cooking school, but it wasn't, culinary school wasn't for me to really, I don't know. I really went for baking and pastry, and I can't bake all the time, or I would eat it like crazy. But anyway, um, I also posted some um, cast iron skillet tips, and I think that's a big post because so many of us own those beautiful cast iron skillets, and maybe we've inherited it from our family, like some of the ones I have. But they can turn rusty, they can get in bad shape, and I have a lot of tips on taking care of your cast iron skillet. So definitely check out that post. It's going to be linked below for you. I also have um, a pumpkin carving um, tip blog post, and it's been viewed a lot. There's tons of good pumpkin carving tips. I know you guys are definitely um, getting ready to start carving pumpkins. Check it out. You might get some really good tips that will make life a lot easier, especially if you're carving pumpkins with your kids. Also, um, I posted a blog post about a wonderful homemade Christmas gift, and I'm telling you this in this video. So if you do want to maybe do it later, and I'll probably mention it again sometime you know, in the near future. It is window frame chalkboard walls. They are so cute. They're easy and um, they're inexpensive and um, they make wonderful gifts. So definitely check that out. And I think you will definitely find, um, you know, some good homemade gifts on my blog. I maybe should just link in um, the tag where you can see them all. And maybe that's what I'll do. I'm not sure. Um, in 13, um, I did a mom talks about hurt feelings and forgiveness and the mom talks blog post is basically me just venting as a mom and letting you guys know you're not alone in your struggles. It is so hard when your children hurt your feelings and it's a whole different level of forgiveness with your kids. At least that's what I've learned. You can't hold grudges with your children and, um, I did a big blog post about that, and so if you're struggling with that in any kind of way, definitely check that out. Um, I also started posting a lot of my videos from YouTube in 2013 and 2014. So every um, video that goes live on YouTube always goes live on my blog, but you know, I was working hard to make sure my YouTube schedule stayed strong, and I had built up my blog enough while I felt that people 
I got to know me there could definitely relate to me on YouTube and people on YouTube could get to know me more by checking out my blog. So I always post my videos on my blog. Plus, you know, a lot of videos don't include everything. So I want that extra space to type out notes to you. And they do go up later most of the time than the video. I, I do that because number one, my friends on YouTube, they like their videos regardless if there's a blog post with it or not. So I always post it early for the subscribers on YouTube. But if you just subscribe to my blog, they go usually live the next day and I have more information and more stuff about our lives in those. So um, it's, you know, whatever pleasure you like. But if you watch them on YouTube, definitely check out the blog post sometimes because there's a lot of different information in that way. I stuck true to um, my weekend reviews where I post a weekend recap of my, a weekly recap of my week of what we did. A lot of our Instagram pictures are shared in that weekend review. Um, a day in the life log, maybe two are included. Um, I also stuck true to thankful Thursdays, which I have fallen off a little bit here in 2015, but I'm hoping maybe all through November because it's, you know, thankful and, and, and Thanksgiving and all that. Maybe I'll dedicate just November to weekly thankful Thursday posts because they really mean a lot. It's good to be grateful and have gratitude. And sometimes it's not easy to find on a bad day. Sometimes I'm grateful just for the sunshine or I'm grateful for a bubble bath. It doesn't matter. It just matters on finding the good in life instead of the negative. And for me, sometimes that's important to do because I can see the negative out sometimes a lot easier, which is kind of messed up. Um, I also stayed true to Friday letters and I still post those. So just little notes to random people, um, events, different things going on. Tuesday truce, I also post and I'm a little more snarky in that one. And I feel like if you have a mean comment, you should be commenting on Tuesday truce and we can kind of be snarky together. But um, Tuesday truce is just something I've kept up with and so is Sunday inspiration and that's usually a Sunday post and sometimes I don't always get those done and they do get included a lot of times in the week in reviews. So that's pretty much looking back, reflecting back and in the upcoming weeks we have Laura's birthday, we have Jackson's birthday, my daughter has her Washington trip at the beginning of October. I'm so excited for her. I would just want to drive up and go with her. And she's like, no, mom, do not do that. And I totally could. I could just, just follow her around. But, you know, I know I've got to let her grow up and I'm so proud of our kids. Laura is doing great and Jackson is doing better in school and Brittany is, she really doesn't know how to fail at anything. I don't think she is an amazing, amazing child, and she's an easy child overall. So is Laura, and, um, you know, so is Jackson. He has his moments, but so is he, and we have Halloween, and we have, you know, all the fun fall activities, so I'm super excited about that. If you want to see our Day in the Life vlog from this time last year, I will link that in. It's kind of fun for me also to go back and check out those videos, but... You know, there is a blog post that will go live, like I said, the next morning or the, you know, most of the time the videos go live about midnight. The blog posts go live between 12 and 1 in the afternoon, usually. Sometimes it varies. But there will be a blog post that will accompany this video. I would love it if you checked it out. You can either follow along and do that blog post on your blog or you can do a video like this or a blog or a video just answering the the what I'm loving, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, all of that that changes month to month. You could do that totally in a video as well, and I would love to see that. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second and give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you like the video, and I really enjoy seeing that. I keep that private because I feel like when it's got thumbs down, um, a lot of like mean type of people they they feed off that, and I feel like if 
if you can't see it, it's a more true, accurate description of how you feel. So I love seeing the thumbs up. Thank you for giving them to me. And I would appreciate it if you did enjoy this video. Take a second, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know how your past month went. Let me know what's going on in your life, what you have coming up. I would love to read that. I will definitely get back to you. And I will see you very, very soon with another video. I think there's going to be another food haul this week. And a what's cooking video. So we got both basically food food um, hauls and food related videos. I am trying to eat healthier. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. I'll have a health and fitness update next weekend. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You guys are more than welcome to enjoy the blog at kjaggers.com. There's so many posts here going all the way back to 2010. You can get lost for hours in the archives getting to know Scott, I, our family. There's tons of links in the sidebar that you should find useful. Also, our Instagram pictures are here. There's more links at the bottom, and it's just like our home away from home. Also, Instagram, like I just said, you can find me under kjaggers. I post daily pictures pictures here. I love getting to know you and seeing your pictures. I find it such a uplifting, generous, beautiful community. I really love Instagram, so follow along. You can additionally join the conversation on Facebook. We talk a lot on here and we talk about random things. I share different blog posts and YouTube videos, random pictures, and you can always send me a private message. The links are below if you do want to follow. You can always tweet me at Keisha Jaggers. I love Twitter. It goes so fast. So much is on Twitter. And I love getting to know you here as well. I am not on Twitter as much, but I'm trying to be more active and I would love it if you followed us. And last but not least, do not forget about Pinterest. Here's another spot you can get lost for hours. I have a lot of our own pins as well as many others that you can totally learn things from and enjoy. It's really a very beautiful community within itself. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It reminds me that you did enjoy the video and I would definitely love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts on this video or anything else. Thanks again for watching you guys. Don't forget to visit the blog. Bye!